There was another one last night. Look, it's been like, what, 10 years? I'm used to it. I don't care. I've had more shrinks than I've had teachers. There's nothing you can do. That's cool, but... You know. Do you think maybe your unwillingness to talk about how you feel, as well as the shifts, maybe links back to... No. Look, I know it can seem kind of pointless, maybe even painful to talk about this stuff, but it can be a real weight off your chest just having someone to talk to, especially someone who understands what it is you're going through. Someone who can tell you, look, Cassidy, there are tons of people going through exactly what you are. You're not alone in this. You can learn to let go. With all due respect, and that sounds nice on paper, but if I was normal, I wouldn't need to see you, would I? What? Don't you like our little chats? <laughs> oh, thanks. Sorry. It's just... My dad's never asked me if I wanted to stop. Life is just, well, life really. The dreams, the shifts. It's like looking at reality through a magnifying glass. Sure, the edges are kind of blurry, but everything else is so perfectly in focus. It's more real than real. Don't worry. Cassidy! Let go. Cassidy! Dinner's ready, boy. So, how was Sheila today? What? She didn't say anything? She didn't help you with anything? No, I don't know. Not really. Oh well. How about you, Jim? Anything happen at work today? It was fine. I was asking about Cassidy's day. I'm not paying Sheila for nothing. I want to see some improvement. Improvement? Bloody hell, Dad, I'm not some kitchen appliance. She doesn't take me in every week to check up to see if I need new batteries or if you can get an improved model. Oh, piss off. You know what I meant. 
But it's not some big secret, is it? That you're just a bit special. Great, Dad. Thanks. Okay, come on, Cass. Leave your dad alone. He's had a long day at work and he's tired, aren't you, Jim? Well, obviously not, because he's got plenty of energy for probing me for all the dirt on my confidential meeting with Miss Blake. You know, Dad, I reckon you'd earn a lot from being a cheap shrink, because you're exactly the same as her. You see right through me, but you're too bloody scared to look out what you find there. You are ungrateful- Jim, now. sit down! Now! Cass, go to your room. I need to speak to your father. Where's Dad? At a hotel. For tonight. Are uh, you and Dad? I don't know. Your dad didn't mean what you said, you know. It's just that he's been... Busy. Yeah. Doesn't change anything though, does it? I'm sorry, Cass. You know that I love you, don't you? And let go. a bit pale. Shall we bring it back into the room? Let go. What are you drawing, Cass? Mum and Dad. Why is your dad grumpy? They're fighting. What are they fighting about? Nothing. <coughs> Oi, come on, put your seat back on.
They say that when you die, you see your life flash before your eyes. But what if you haven't lived? <laughs>